Hey guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Here are two Galaxy S21 Ultra, and the one on the left is the Snapdragon version, and the one on the right is the Exynos 2100 version. Now it's almost one year after they have been released, and both have been updated to Android 12. And let's do a final comprehensive benchmark comparison between these two processors right before the next generation processors come out in the Galaxy S22 Ultra in a couple of weeks time. And first one we are going to test is N22. Both devices are cool, they are below 30 degrees before the test start. And as you can see, the ambient temperature is about 25 degrees. And this will be the case for all the benchmarks we run in this video. And let's go. Okay, in this test, the Snapdragon seems to be a little bit faster. So it finished the test a bit earlier than the Exynos. And the temperature, I think, is fine. It's around 39. It's below 40 degrees, which is pretty okay. And uh, now the Exynos also finished. The temperature is also fine. It's below 40 degrees. But the score is a little bit lower on the Exynos. Here we see that the power consumption as well as the temperature change are quite similar for both variants, but the Snapdragon has a 7% performance advantage over the Exynos in this particular test. All right, next let's move on to Geekbench 5, which is a pure CPU test for both single thread performance as well as multi-thread performance. As you saw, the devices are cooled down properly before we start the next round of tests. All right, let's go. Okay, so in this test, we see that the Exynos 2100 actually outperforms the Snapdragon by about 4 to 5% for both single core and multi core. And that is due to the higher CPU frequency, I believe. And next up, we'll test 3D Mark stress test. So this test is a very GPU intensive test that runs for whole 20 minutes. So that we'll be able to tell both the peak performance as well as the sustained performance. Okay, the test is almost finishing. Let's check out the temperature. So on the Exynos, I can see around 43 degrees on the hottest spot. And it's actually pretty similar on the on the Snapdragon as well. Here we see 42, 41 degrees. So the temperature only differs by maybe at most one or two degrees, which I think is not significant at all. And then let's check out the performance. And here is where the Exynos actually takes the lead, which is very surprising. Here we see that both the peak performance and the sustained performance is better on the Exynos. And we are not talking about a very trivial difference here. It's actually as big as 20 to 30%. So the Exynos GPU is actually pretty efficient. And then for battery consumption, as well as the temperature, they are pretty similar here. And lastly, we'll test PC mark. And this is more like a, a benchmark that tests the device day-to-day -day or productivity performance. Right, let's go. Okay, in this test, we see that the performance of the two devices are quite similar, where the Snapdragon actually takes a slight lead. Uh, it's faster by about 3 to 4%, which isn't that significant at all, and uh, battery and temperature performance are quite similar as well. All right, guys, so here I compiled all the results from the benchmarks. And we can see that the Exynos 2100 is actually not bad at all. When compared to the Snapdragon 888, it actually goes back and forth, right? So Exynos wins in some areas, while the Snapdragon wins in other tests. And to be honest, last year could be one of the better years for Exynos users uh, in terms of the performance gap between the Exynos and the Snapdragon. So now I'm just like you, eagerly waiting for the next generation, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and the Exynos 2200. 
and as soon as those devices are released, I'll buy them and test them. Okay, now that's about it for today's video. Thank you for your support and see you next time.